What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. How does the company keep its prices so low? Take its store setup. You walk in and the moment you step foot in our store, you can see all four walls. All these are typically around 12,000 square feet, about the same as a Trader Joe's, and much smaller than the average supermarket. Operating a smaller space saves money when buying the property, on the lease and on utilities. The whoa, 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 pause, pause, pause. Scale one out of 10, see? How you, what, what do you rate all these? I rate, okay, so we only been there one time. Uh, I would uh, rate it about an eight. A good eight? A good eight. I don't know. I feel like when we went there, and again, y'all, y'all know I'm real raw and honest. I didn't like how the meat looked. The meat? Yeah. Oh. oh I don't know oh. if it was just that location that yeah. we went to. Oh, I ain't think about that part. I, I, I didn't like it. The frozen I, I, meat was cool. I really don't remember the overall scope of what the products look like to be honest with you it, but i just wild. remember saying hey they needed a quarter so i can get a basket <laughs> give them a quarter and i remember pushing the basket around say hey we're ready to check out but you gotta have your own bag right. like you know what i'm saying so right. i mean other than that i like your answer i yeah. too give it an eight out of eight eight out of ten yeah. yeah yeah and this has nothing to do with germany y'all know this was a location here yeah okay. facts facts you gotta put that out there yeah Aldi is as much designed for our operational efficiency as anything. And so being very specific about the amount of footsteps it takes to service our store and a very and limited not. store size allows us to operate a very efficient operation. And that creates a lot of value. To further its efficiency, Aldi doesn't have extra services like a customer help desk, a fresh bakery or butcher, and it stocks significantly oh, fewer products. Supermarkets typically carry around 31,000 products. Trader Joe's has about 4,000, but Aldi stocks about 1,600. Often, there are just three to five employees on the sales floor, so having fewer items and leaving them in the boxes they were delivered in means employees spend less time stocking shelves. These cost-cutting strategies are critical to Aldi's profit margin, and they're why the company is able to offer items that are cheaper than the national average. But they also serve another purpose. They help maintain Aldi's image as a discount store. Customers nice. make compensatory inferences. Basically, marketing experts say when people see an item's price, they quickly make assumptions about the product. Yeah. If it's mm. cheap, they may assume it's lower quality. True. Which is why Aldi's no-frill strategy is so effective. From the moment customers put quarters in their carts and walk into the store, they can see all the ways Aldi reduces costs. Marketing pause, experts pause, say- Pause, pause, I think we treat every part, everything like that. Anything that we see that's supposed to be high value and it's got a low price on it, we call it fake. Yeah. It ain't real. <laughs> Show me the real ingredients and I compare it to the real, to the uh, high price value and mm -hmm. we can tell you what's what. You know what I'm saying? But most of the times, even with shoes, like if you got a pair of shoes that's usually on the market for a high price and you catch one that for the low, Nah, what's, what's off about it? Mm -hmm, <laughs> what's mm -hmm. off about it? But I could shop at Aldi, like if we was in the area of Aldi. We yeah, had yeah. to travel a little bit to get to Aldi. I could shop there, like for some things. I think we had got some baby food. I think mm -hmm, we had got mm -hmm. some, um, like, toiletries, I think. I don't really remember. Did but we just have baby girl? We did. We did. We did. Yeah, we yeah. sure did. We sure did. I, got, I stocked up on a lot of little baby food. Even a tissue was plentiful, but it was yeah. at a low price. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. There's just some things I wouldn't cut down on the quality for. Yeah. Hmm. Let us know what y'all think. Do y'all think that products are cheaper? I mean, like, yeah. I guess you could say something's Less wrong quality. with it because of the price cut. Yeah. You know? I mean, I like to hear that opinion. Which is why all these no frill strategy is so effective. From the moment customers put quarters in their carts and walk into the store, they can see all the ways Aldi reduces costs. Marketing experts say these tactics all signal to the customer that milk, eggs, and bread are cheaper at Aldi because of its efficiency rather than its quality. Though the results of its cost-cutting strategies aren't always popular with customers. In a survey of roughly 6,500 people, Aldi scored on par with or slightly lower than many of its peers in categories like store cleanliness and item availability. But there's another key tactic grocers use to aid their low-cost images, known value items. These are staple household products whose prices people often remember. 
As Aldi has expanded across the country, other grocers have reduced their prices in response, particularly on these types of okay. items. When Aldi comes in, it prompts other retailers to look at their prices again and kind of, you know, surgically examine how to adjust what they sell and for how much. That's because when people see lower prices for staple goods, they infer that the business offers low prices all around. And when it comes to value for dollar, Aldi ranked highest in the customer survey at 96%. But stores can only compete on price so much without hurting their profit margins. So what does Aldi use other than price point to draw on customers? It's private label items. 90% of Aldi's stock is private label. Like its other strategies, this reduces costs for the company. We take all of our buying power and we put it into the seven most popular or common salad dressings that a customer might buy. That allows us to deal directly with manufacturers and make sure that we get the best cost price. Analysts say that Trader Joe's uses private label items to differ from competitors by creating items that customers can only find there like its ube mochi pancake mix and butternut squash mac and cheese. But at Aldi, you'll find private label items that look quite similar to the most well-known national brands. Right. Instead of wheat thins, Aldi has thin wheat. According to analysts, this is because Aldi gotcha. wants customers to think they're essentially getting the same product, but yeah. at a significant discount. There was a time when the perception was, you know, they're the generic brand and, you know, they're just cheaper, but not as good as the national brands, and those days are over. As consumers felt the lasting impacts of inflation, sales of store brand products increased. From 2018 to 2022, there was a 34% increase in industry-wide private label sales, totaling more than $57 billion. While some other grocers might have private label offerings, this is the existence of what we do. Aldi has thrived during recessions. The 2008 financial crisis sparked its growth and decision to add around so 100 new stores per year. What was really interesting is we never lost any of those customers. Mm. And as the economy improved and we had a really long run of economic improvement, Aldi grew throughout that entire period of time. And now, as inflation drains Americans' wallets, Aldi continues to grow. In the beginning, that was sort of their target audience, people who, you know, wanted bargains and wanted to buy food for, for low prices. But in recent years, I think they've really expanded that audience to also go after people who want convenient shopping, who want the necessities and want to be in and out of stores. All right, bro, I got to say, it. comparison to bigger stores, Aldi was definitely flexing. Mm -hmm. um, only because when you walk into a bigger store that has so much more to offer, you keep walking. Mm -hmm. And you don't stop until you eyeball everything. If you're not with the list and you're not, you know, doing all that organized right. stuff. But most of the times, people walking in there, they just keep walking. They keep shopping. They don't stop. Aldi has a minimum space range. Mm -hmm. They let you go mm -hmm. in and out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, oftentimes, I think that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like. It gives you an opportunity to see everything that they have to offer. Yeah. And also, I like that they do the private labeling. I feel like, you know, maybe we had like a, you know, not not bad experience, but not a good experience. Yeah. It was a good experience. It was just like, oh, okay, we're still going to shop where we shop, though. Yeah. You know? I mean, because it makes sense for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now that we know, like, the, the strategy, we're going to mm. give Aldi another chance. So my question to you all is, would you shop at a local... I mean, a store like Aldi, if knowing that the price is cheaper, you can get everything for the, you know, the same product, but for lower. And you're not losing quality. And you're not losing quality at all. Like, would you hold on to something like that? Or would you just go to the bigger brand because it's the brand, you know? Mm. It'd it be like that. Sometimes right. people run to the brand before they go to the... The product, you, you know to. what I'm saying? Yeah, they stick with what they're used to. Yeah. So y'all let us know, all right? We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.